make group guided reading a positive experience. Make sure you have a positive attitude towards group guided reading. Give status to group guided reading. Give every learner your undivided attention for a minute or two. Be patient with learners who struggle. Praise learners for effort as well as achievement. Build learners' confidence. It's extremely important that group guided reading be a positive experience for the child because if the child cannot relax, it's not easy for the child to read. The child must be taught that it's okay to make mistakes and they'll keep on improving and the teachers has to see to it that that happens. <laughs> Nia tanza kwa kuti ebanvana bafunze nge bakte mbu ngoba. Nia bona kwa kuti ebanvana uma bafunza nge bakte mbu. Bakona kwa kuti batifunze ele bona nge guabo. I've seen quite a number of teachers, a lot of them making group guided reading a positive experience. They acknowledge every little effort from the child. And as a result, the learner gets so encouraged and they feel they always want to read. Gusugela ngifunzi saye banvana nge makrembu guni ngile ngubonile no ma mnyendi umeshwole ngubonile gubanfa bami labanye banvana bebanga koni gufunza godfa labanye ndi na mtla seba ya kona gutifunze la nge guabu. Remember, to successfully manage group guided reading, you must form same ability reading groups manage your resources, train your learners to follow routines, keep the rest of the class busy in a meaningful way, use your group guided reading trackers and make group guided reading a positive experience.